Hey everybody, good morning, hope you're doing well. So today's a really special day. I'm actually going to a clinic to get tested for my arm wrestling abilities. I got a buddy who's uh, going to be a physical therapist very soon. And he has a really big interest in data science. Fuck, in sports science. He has a really big interest in sports science. So we're gonna actually go head over there and we'll get to meet him and, and we'll see what we're gonna do today. Let's go. All right, so we're here at uh, Brenton Chiropractic. So we're gonna go meet uh, Dylan up, so call me. What's up, buddy? Hey, hey what's going Good on, to see man? You. Yeah, Good to see you. Um, I'm pretty excited. I you know, I've been, I've been competing in arm wrestling uh, for a very short while, but I'm trying to bridge the gap. Yeah. So, well, come on I, back. We got all the tools to, I think, bridge that gap for you. Let's do it. Yeah. Very solid clinic you got here. Thank you. This is a nice little good space, I think, to get some stuff done. So, plan for today, we're going to we're gonna just kind of see where Palman's at. We're going to get your numbers for strength, okay. uh, grip strength. We'll do some velocity tests. I have some okay. tools we're going to try and get some reaction speed in right. and kind of, you know, tinker around and see if we can improve those numbers. And if anything, you'll have a, a nice uh, base to start from. And as you continue training, we can test, retest and see where the numbers go. All right, guys. So, so we're going to warm up first. Um, Dylan's going to lead because I've never seen any of this before. You, usually we do the typical arm wrestling club where we our warm up where we do the wrist uh, movements and then go back and forth. But I, I want to learn something new today, so. Yeah, well, I, ha I have some kind of wrist motions and stuff planned, uh, but we'll kind of start more general and then we're going to get specific from there. So this okay. is like the snowball going down the mountain and we're going to hopefully get into an avalanche of like arm wrestling specific activities. So we have a couple tools here. This is like a little neck uh, soft tissue tool I just bought on Amazon. And then we have the Eclipse Roller from Acumobility and the Level 2 Acumobility Balls here, okay. which are like the BOSU balls of lacrosse balls as far as soft tissue work. So okay. we'll get to these in a second. First movement I want you to do, and I'll show you, you're going to sit in front of the Eclipse Roller yeah. and kind of target for like the mid to upper back. You'll take this, Kind of have the finger grooves here and i'm not going to touch my neck just for sanitary purposes but you'll kind of start at the base of the neck and you're going to have the arms or the elbows pointed up you'll have your hips on the ground and you're just going to try and kind of lean back and you can kind of massage and work some of the neck muscles maybe you know, like three or four at a time lean back you know three or four kind of massages with the hands on the neck mm. come up and just try and get some extension and kind of open up the back a little bit. So you'll have this, like kind of the back here. I can kind of help you, yep. So we'll just kind of nice go back. You'll have your feet kind of hip nice and close. And then this is gonna go up and above. Let's start at the base of the neck. Okay. Cool, yeah, right there. Okay. And then you're gonna try and get those elbows pointed up to the sky. And then you're gonna try, yeah. you can keep the hips down a little bit, yeah. And just start to kind of lean back. You can kind of work the neck slightly. Oh, I got a crack. There we go. Snap, crackle, pop. And then you can kind of come up from there and bring your your head back up. I'll grab that hat for you. Strategically place it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, you can just keep kind of rolling, like I said, like four or five times work in the, the mid to upper back. But we're just trying to kind of get some extension in the thoracic spine. Okay. So the reason I, I cho chose to start with this is just kind of get some of the, the muscles loose and open up the shoulders and the chest yeah. and to hopefully, you know, increase our ability for the brain to signal to the, the hand to fire and fire fast. All right, so next we're gonna use these level two acumobility balls. So these are gonna be a little more specific yeah. than like a lacrosse ball. So let's go ahead and have you uh, lay flat on your back. Okay. Okay. And you can again tuck your feet close to you. Okay. All right, so we're gonna kind of work the upper traps right here. Okay, these are tend to be a little tight and stiff. Oh, the, all the time. Yeah, so Lit. what we're gonna do is just use these to kind of pin and stretch. So go ahead and lean your head back. Okay. All right, and we have the feet close because I want you to bridge up. Oh, uh, so dig into it? Yeah, bridge. Good. And then take these hands. Yeah. And go ahead and reach back. 
Try and touch the thumbs. And then come back. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> and then you repeat bridge and try and, uh, like you're holding a hammer. Yep. And then you're going to try and touch the tip of your thumbs oh, to the okay. ground. Okay. Excellent. So this is kind of a good warm up. A little bit of an assessment because I could see how your arms are kind of rolling through the pin and stretch if those thumbs are hitting the ground at the same time. How's that feel? I think this was my favorite so far. <laughs> Any difference left versus right? Um, this one, this one's deeper. I feel like this one would be out, out of place. Okay. Let's readjust. And one other thing you can do is you can try and imagine you're pushing through your feet to try and like push it. Yeah. Wow. That should add a little more spice. Ooh. Yeah. I think I figured it out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And this is a, you know, it's a kind of an interesting tool. Once you get the hang of it, it works a lot better. Not maybe as intuitive as some of the other ones we started with. But nonetheless, this is obviously effective once you get the hang of it. Okay. To kind of just Thank smash you. those forearms a little bit. All right, so there's the soft tissue series. So this is the gyro ball. So essentially, this is we're gonna get this ball to kind of wind up, okay. and it's gonna start to roll or, or spin. Yeah. And this is gyroscopic. So essentially, you're gonna try and do this and make it roll faster, and it's gonna make you feel like uh, you're in Skyrim and you're a sorcerer casting a spell. Because once you go, it's going to light up. Okay. And you're trying to like, you know, get your, that magica to go all the way up so it sounds really fast. Oh, wow. The okay. lights, lights are going, this you know. Is, this is like Rasengan from Naruto. Yeah, there, exactly. There we go. So about a minute. You're just going to try and get it rolling like that, okay? The, Easier the, the said than done. Which, the, just, which... just get it rolling. So if you when you wind it up, you see there's arrows right there. So we just wind it up, follow the arrows, boom, right there, it's gonna... And then I, I go with the arrow? And then you're just gonna, however you feel like you can rotate your wrist fast, rotate the wrist. Okay, ready? All right. Hold on, Let's get see. a good grip. All right, all right. Yep, build it up, full circle, full wrist circle. This is the one. Here it is. There we go. And you got the sound feedback, visual feedback. Big circles, big circles. All on the wrist. All on the wrist. Get yeah, power! There we go. <laughs> Keep going, big circle, big circle. Excellent. Uh, ah. Get too tired, so that's good. And oh, that's so cool, dude. I feel so strong. There we go. It's full <laughs> range of motion, and it's like, you know, there's kind of a rhythm and a timing to it, so it, it, it adds some dexterity. That's awesome. Reception. Oh, right there. So like, is that, does that feel similar? Hold on, let's do it this way. Maybe make it a little Closer. bit that way. Up, so. I think that's perfect right there. Let me make sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you just quick start, make sure it's zeroed out. All right. And you, I mean, if you'd like, you could even go specific, like hold it like that, right? I was probably gonna go neutral. Yeah, whatever. You feel best with. So this is gonna like hold. It'll oh, hold. Okay, it. okay. That's it. Okay. All right. So uh, we got an electric hand dynamometer. This is this is what they do in the arm wrestling right here. So I'm gonna do um, several tests for this. All right. Squeeze. 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 One twenty-one. One twenty-six. All right. We'll zero that out. We'll do left. Yeah, my hand's really wet. It's okay. Even chalk. All right. Here we go. Big squeeze, 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 squeeze. You know it's um. Oh, it's not holding. What is that number? That's because you tapped it again. It's sensitive. Oh, uh, okay. So it's starting to slip out. Maybe can I hold it like right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Re 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 yeah, you can quick. adjust the grip however you need to. So my grip's slipping. All right, we're going to do another one. And if you have shock, by all means. So I'm just going to hold it. Table. <laughs> it's my, hey, let me, like, rope it's not a bad idea, right? Yeah. All right, that's not too much. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it right here. 
a big squeeze, 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 squeeze. <sighs> 127, 127. Sorry. All good. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. 118. 118. Ooh. All right. Yeah, press hard off that right foot, too. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. 44.6. That's what it was. All right, 44. Excellent. All right. Here we go. Let's get 50. See it in your head. Pull, 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 54.2. Oh, God. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got lefty. Pull, 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 pull. Yeah. That's a good start. 53.4. Oh. Number two. Press hard off left foot. Here we go. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull, pull. 41.4. Okay. And you're just gonna pull. All right, so, so, what, so what create, is this targeting? Create tension and then pull back and we're okay. just gonna do a single arm, essentially, assessment for uh, okay. your, your lat and row strength. And we're trying to kind of emphasize more uh, of a downward vector rather than like neutral or lower because we are trying to avoid over activation of your traps. All right. Okay. okay let's just go. So create a little tension and then start to just pull, 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 pull. Yeah. Pull, 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 pull. Good. All right. We got the 90 on the dot. All right. Left side. Good. 97. Go. Pull, 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 on the left side. Here we go. Breathe power. Nice. 99.6. Okay. All right. That's third attempt, right? Third attempt. Right. Okay. One more on the other side. Ah, the table is slipping yeah. a little bit. It's like plus five the initial. It's about 93, I'd say. 93, four. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, wrist curl. Good. Good. 60.8. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Sixty. 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 Nice
good. 65. Good. 74.8. Nice job. One more on the left. Sixty. Damn, <laughs> that's two sixties, right? Yeah. Uh, consistent. No power drop here. Time we're going for a little bit longer. Set. Last one. Now. Go. I couldn't tell which one. Okay. Uh, nice. Okay. That was a good shoulder workout. Yeah. I'll send you a, a kind of screenshot of the average. There's a right. Okay. 31 hits. Average was a 560 reaction speed for that. And it's, again, standardized the setup, and we'll just have a baseline to move from. Let's do five reps. There's your peak velocity. Which one's the 0 0.35? 0 0.35 is um, average, like your velocity average, and then peak velocity is the fastest part of the movement. Okay. And then there's range of motion, and then duration. Gotcha. Okay. We'll switch hands, and if this doesn't work, we're gonna do another. We're still doing another velocity motion, so. myself. Was it recording? One more. So it's going to start when you throw that first punch. So we're going to get average velocity from here. So, okay, yeah. so you're going to go as fast as you can. And as you throw, it's going to record. Okay, okay, okay. So it's start is with power. Keep going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, so average velocity there, 20.2. You can see it was all measuring the right. Uh, that's just an average. Uh, we will have an Excel spreadsheet that shows every single punch with peak velocity. Okay. Um, this may be the better tool to measure, honestly. And go. <laughs> Three, two, 
One time. Good. Average velocity for uh, 20.5 for that round, 20.2 for the first round. This is just showing all averages. We'll get more specifics at the end. Okay. All right, so that pretty much concludes everything we did today. Uh, we did a lot of speed, strength, um, just evaluating my weaknesses. Uh, Dylan, he's been an amazing um, person showing me what I need to do here. So a bit about Dylan, he's going to be a soon to be like doctorate of physical therapy. He's really into sports science. Once again, I say that. Uh, so any athletes uh, who want, who live in the Chicagoland area, I'm going to send you over to Dylan. He'll take care of you right away. Other than that, see you next time. Peace out. Thank Bye you. guys. Yeah.